basketball boys variety tonight. Joel Krausar and Devin Diedrichs, my partner, on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Devin's been a busy week. We were here Tuesday. I was here last night for some grappling, for some <laughs> wrestling. It was a blast, and I'm back here tonight as we welcome, as Muscatine, the 5-1 and one North Scott Lancers, the number 14th ranked team in the state, depending on which uh, rankings you're looking at, and there's a numerous variety out there. Uh, facing the 1-3 Muscatine Muskie boys coming off their first win of the season, a big win on Tuesday night over Bettendorf, excuse me, 1-4. You know, Devin, what are we looking to see tonight? Well, with North Scott, you know it's going to be a really well-coached team, a team that's going to be disciplined and ready to go. So Muscatine's going to have to be ready to go from the tip. And it's a little bit of a slower pace than we're used to from North Scott. They like to slow the game down a little bit more. I mean, in years past, they used to run and gun. Not as many athletes, I would say, for North Scott. Yeah, they've had a significant run of uh, <laughs> collegiate basketball players yeah. come through, uh, in, through Eldridge uh, by way of other uh, – I'm not going to go down that road. Nope. I'd like to, nope. but I'm not going to. Uh, North Scott led by the legendary Seamus Buddy, uh, tremendous coach yeah. in his own right, tremendous player in his days at Bettendorf, uh, someone I remember from being a high school student. Uh, they're led by Landon Island, the senior. He is averaging 14.7 points per game. Oliver Hughes right behind him at 13.2 points per game. And then Cannon Guffey, another senior, at seven points per game, led in rebounds by the sophomore Drew Kilberg at four and a half per game, and Cannon Guffey also right there on his heels at 4.3. The Muskies led by senior Noah Yan at 14 points per game, Braden Hufford with 8.2 points for the junior guard, and then Josh Deepin right there at 7.8 points per game. Muscatine really needs to get some production out of Josh Deepin. He's shown some real flashes lately, and uh, the senior wants to finish his senior year on a high note and uh, looking to do so tonight. Yeah, and I think, I mean, anytime you're six, seven in high school basketball, you should have a good chance. So if we can get him going in the paint early, it'll open up our three-point shooters too as well and other shooters that we have. So hopefully we can get him going early and it'll open up the whole offense. Lancers coming off a 62-46 to victory over Central DeWitt on Tuesday. And as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, they are 5-1. and one. And we're looking forward to some exciting boys basketball here on a Friday night in January. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in about three minutes, and we'll do some more pregame here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place like home, and Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Car controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone.
There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice. Always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges. The Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. And we are back at Muscatine High School. Joel Krausar and Devin Diedrichs on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Muskie boys basketball tonight as they host the North Scott Lancers from Eldridge. Devin, this might be the last one we have in a while where we don't have at least like maybe 30 to 40 percent of the fans. Yeah. You know, the, the breaking news late last night that Governor Reynolds had uh, adjusted her restrictions on fans in the stands and we have a few uh, uh, spectators here tonight. Each student athlete able to to have two tickets per uh, for for each player. Right. And this might be the last of that. And the, the the schools are going to have some discretion, but conferences are also going to have discretion. So we haven't heard exactly what uh, the Mississippi Athletic Conference has determined is going to be the case yet. And as soon as we get that information, I'm sure Discover Muscatine. We'll have that news for you. So make sure you subscribe to Discover at, uh, to Discover Muscatine social media pages, whether that be on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, you can go to discovermuscatine.com. And if you're watching this on the, the YouTube stream, make sure you hit subscribe so you will get updates and alerts for whenever Discover Muscatine goes live. And there's even a new way to watch. You can download the Discover Muscatine app on Apple or Android to get free access and more exclusive Muscatine content than anywhere else, like Muskie Sports Broadcasts, Muscatine Today with Ashton Loveless, local news and Muscatine living content from contributors like Tony Tone, the Muscatine Ministerial Association, Jacob Bauer, and many more contributors to Discover Muscatine. Starting lineups tonight for the Muskies, Number one, Braden Hufford, the junior guard, will be starting a point guard. Number four, Reed Olsis, the 6'4", senior forward. And then number 22, the leading scorer for the Muskies, Noah Yan, the 6'2", senior guard, the lefty. And then Waker Clare, another southpaw, making the start tonight, the 6'4", forward. And then Josh Diekman, the 6'7", senior forward. So Muscatine going big, three guys over 6'4" in the lineup tonight, and that's, uh, I think, an intentional decision for the Muskies. Yeah, I mean, it's really good to have Waker back. Obviously, he wasn't available before Christmas break, so they're working him back in. That'll be good to add for height, and they should not allow a lot of second opportunities with the height of the on the floor tonight. Starting for the Lancers, number two, Drew Kilberg, the sophomore guard, 5'10", 
number four, Oliver Hughes, the junior 5'11 guard, along with number 21, Cannon Guffey, the senior six foot two inch forward, and number 24, Landon Island, their leading scorer, the 6'5 forward. So the Lancers going with some youth, but also uh, some experience there with their senior uh, Guffey, excuse, uh, Guffey and Island, who are their two leading scorers. For starting lineups now still being announced here on the floor. We're just minutes away from tip-off, or seconds away from tip-off and our national anthem. We're going to stay right here and we're going to rise and observe our nation with the playing of our national anthem. the national anthem after some of these restrictions have been lifted. I know Devin, you and I both part of the the choral music program yeah. here at Muscatine in our times as students and that was honestly the, where I like first yeah. got started <laughs> singing was Mr. Van Heck the yeah. athletic director at the time was like hey Joel you're already at the game you're singing the national anthem <laughs> it wasn't hey would you like to it was you're here, yeah, here you're, you're singing doing it. it yeah it's a uh, one of those like hidden things that you kind of miss that, that you didn't the realize. Pet band. Yeah, no pep band. That's fun. Uh, we do have the dance team tonight, which we haven't seen them uh, the, recently. They are coming off a fantastic showing at their state competition a few weeks ago. As we get ready for the tip off, and Deekman unable to secure the tip. Nice effort by Landon Island, and it'll be North Scott Ball. Yeah, and this is. Like we said at the top, a very different North Scott looking offense. A lot more patient, looking for shots instead of the run and gun. Oliver Hughes for three. Rebound, Diekman. Good defensive board there for the Muskies. That's a good start to get him involved early. Now Waker Claire. So the Muskies work the ball around. Hufford three, no good. Rebound by Hughes. I should mention also Carter Markham, one of the starting players for the Lancers. I missed him on my rundown. Island brings it back to the top of the key. Hughes trying to take Claire off the dribble. Muscatine's doing a really good job defensively, allowing nothing behind them here early. Now Hughes will work it back to Kilberg. That's a Guffey, actually. Into the corner. Good ball movement from the Lancers. Noah Jan defending. They're going to call a foul on the floor here. Yeah, but that was a really good defensive series by Muscatine on rotating and closing out and not allowing the shooters to get looks. It was all tri dri dribble penetration. So That foul will go against Noah Jan, his first. Hughes for three, and he gets it off the inbounds. Oh, that was a really good inbounds play. Everyone was att attracted to number 24 and then flared out the shooter. Island, the leading scorer for the Lancers, drawing a lot of attention, yeah. as you said. 
And now the Muskies try to set their offense up with Braden Hufford at the top of the key. And it'll all be interesting to see how deep Muscatine goes tonight. They're short a couple of uh, bench guys that they normally go to. So we'll see how deep Coach Wyndham goes early. Diekman out to Jan. Jan tries to answer, and it hits what we affectionately call the apparatus <laughs> in the Muscatine High School Gymnasium. <laughs> that strap coming from the ceiling, which helps uh, retract the hoops in non-game situations, is out of bounds if there's <laughs> contact. Yeah, but Muscatine's got a couple really good logs. You can live with those logs. Kilberg over to Markham. Here's Island trying to come off the curl. Muscatine's doing a really good job of denying the ball and forcing them to beat him off the dribble. Kilberg now into the lane. Runner up, no good. Rebound Jan, and he'll look to push. Now Muscatine's going to set up their offense. This might be a back and forth chess match here. Yeah, we're three minutes into the first quarter here. <laughs> Just one bucket has been scored. Hufford to Claire. Turnaround good. <laughs> Off the bank. <laughs> That's the left-handed magic right Yeah, there. he just went right over his right shoulder, a little baby hook <laughs> off the square, just like you draw it up. Yeah, right. Would be, shooters need to use that thing more. I know. Oh, there's some stigma oh. with the backboard. It's been that way for years. Another foul here on the floor. So what North Scott's doing right now is they're spacing out, going about five out, and trying to find the matchups that they like, and they're exploiting them so far. So we'll see if Muscatine's going to pack the lane. Moving screen against the Lancers. It'll be a turnover. And that foul is going to be on Landon Island, his first. Going back to the bank shot, <laughs> Jimmy Chitwood uses the backboard. More people should. <laughs> Good luck. Diekman, he's going to finish at the rim and get the and one. Well, that's big. I mean, Josh has a big size advantage right now, so they should take, he, he should touch the ball on every possession in the post. And if then they come to double, then you find the open shooters on the opposite side. So now Diekman will go to the free throw line. And he makes it. Three point play there for the Muskie Big. Gives them the 5 3 lead. Been really impressed with this musky defense this yeah. first five minutes of this game. They've been really active, haven't they? I mean, they've denied everything, and nothing's came easy so far for North Scott. Drew Kilberg gets it over to Markham. And now Guffey back to Kilberg. Really good help defense from the musky bigs here. Iber Island trying to clear it out. Gets it to Oliver Hughes. Hughes loses it. And Diekman with a steal. And he's able to finish again the three-point play. Great individual effort from Josh oh. Diekman. It's always fun when the big guy gets a steal out front, isn't it? You're like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, yes. Well, he's, right. he's really athletic for 6'7". I know. Fantastic <laughs> golfer and baseball player. Throws pretty hard. Yeah, he absolutely does. I got to watch him grow up. He played on my brother's AAU team, and it's fun to see the progression that these kids make. 4.22 here to go in the first quarter. And that free throw is good as well. 8-3 lead now for the Muskies. You know, North Scott wants to slow it down and play yeah. more of a half-court game that actually fits Muscatine's skill set yeah. quite well. Reed Olsis defending Island. That's really good defense. Muscatine's doing a really good job of just letting nothing come easy so far. Cole Kilberg checks into the ball game for the Lancers. We're gonna have a travel on Drew Kilberg. And his older brother played uh, when I was around in high I was gonna say, school. that name is familiar. And he was a pretty good player as well. So well, there's and, a pretty good line. And saying that Drew and Cole are in the same class, I'm, I'm gonna guess they're twins. <laughs> Or one skipped a grade. <laughs> Olsis in the post. Braden Hufford with the runner. It's good. 
Fantastic fast start here for the Muskies. Well, that's all because they keep getting post touches and forcing the defense to suck in, and then they're getting the looks outside of it. Norris Scott working there around the perimeter. Muscatine's doing a really good job, too, of communicating through screens. Oh. That's Cole Kilberg. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Claire. The Muscatine's doing a really good job of limiting it to one shot, right? They're not allowing any second chance opportunities so far. Diekman, little shot fake at the top. <laughs> Hufford, who is a good three point shooter. He's got Drew Kilberg on him at the top of the key. A three second call here on Noah Yan. He, uh, he definitely camped yeah. in there. For that. <laughs> the official gave him all the time he could afford yeah. and finally enough was enough. Yeah, those are the mental mistakes though. If you're Muscatine, you try to pick up and clean up and avoid. Cole Kilberg oh. wide open. Wasn't Aaron looking to shoot, shoot at all though. Drew Kilberg with a turnover. And that musky defense, active feet and hands, making it very challenging for this North Scott Lancer offensive unit. Well, and their length. I mean, Muscatine has really disruptive length so far, and North Scott hasn't been able to adjust to the length. 6'2", 6'4", 6'4", and 6'7", as Diekman three ball is short. May have got away with the push off there. Good help defense for the Muskies. Markham with a three, no good. There's an offensive rebound. See, those are the killers. Muscatine defended well for all that time. Now the Lancers really working the ball around. Really good closeouts for Muscatine, though. They're not allowing the open shot at all. And the fans at the bench are really letting them know. And then there's going to be a reach in foul on That's Waker Clare. That's second, I believe. That's two on him, so we'll see an early decision here for Coach Wyndham. Just a minute 42 to go here in the first quarter. Now we'll see number three, Trevor Diedrichs, into the ball game. Muskies with a seven point lead early on in this ball game. Landon Island. Trying to turn the corner. They're really packing the paint, not letting anything inside. Fadeaway wow. jumper good by Oliver Hughes. Fantastic shot yeah. by the junior. That's a tough shot. If you're Muscatine, you'll live with that shot every single time. Diedrichs over to Jan. See, for a good possession here, the ball's got to touch the post every single time. Right like there's that. And a strong finish. He sealed the shorter defender and went right up to Diekman. See, He's that's what Muscatine has to do, though. They have the size advantage. That should be every single possession until they double off of it. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Jan. That was a really good job. There's five white jerseys, all limiting. Diedrichs works off the screen. Almost a reach there. Or a travel. Maybe Muscatino hole for one shot here. Under 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. No indication yet, though. They get it into Diekman. Long jumper. No good. Rebound by Island. North Sky really slowed it down. Years past, that would be a attempt to go the rim. Gilbert over to Hughes. Hughes long, rebound Hufford. And that's gonna be the first quarter as the Muskies lead North Scott 12 to five. We'll be back in 60 seconds on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place like home and Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn and grow, it's the smart choice always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. 
and there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. And welcome back to Muscatine High School where the Muscatine Muskies lead 12 to five over the visiting Lancers of North Scott. North Scott five and one coming into the ball game tonight. The Muskies one and four uh, coming off of a victory against Bettendorf on Tuesday. You know, it's amazing after you win the first game how everyone just seems to relax, right? It's getting over that first hop of win the first game. Three ball from the corner, no yawn, no good. Rebound, Olsis. He's going to pick up, they're going to draw a foul. That's going to be Landon Island. That's his second oh. for the leading scorer for the Lancers. Well, that's a big second foul. Great <laughs> effort there from the Muskie senior Olsis to get that rebound. But well, that was a really good look for Noah Yawn. They were helping inside, and it was a wide open three. There wasn't anyone within a few feet of him. So that's a really good look. Muscatine is getting really good looks here early. Hufford's inbounds back to Olsis. And now Braden will set up the offense for the Muskies. The ball should go inside about every time. Jan with a strong take, unable to finish, but he gets his own rebound. Right now, Muskies yeah. outworking the Lancers. They really are, and they're not forcing anything. This isn't like what we've seen before Christmas break, even where they forced everything. A three up by Hufford, no good. Rebound by Kilberg. Well, Muscatine's doing really well on this end of the, oh. Jan with a little overplay oh. there. Well, Drew Kilberg thinks about a shot. He works it back to Hughes. On the floor for the Lancers, Kilberg, Kilberg, Hughes. And then into the ball game is Zach Johnson along with Carter Markham. <coughs> For the Muskies, it's Hufford, Diedrichs, Diekman, Jan, and Nick Scholes just checks into the ball game. So it looks like Muscatine's probably going to go about seven deep here. Well, good hands. Deflected, so 6-4, Reed Olsis comes out, and 6-7, <laughs> Nicholas Scholes comes in. That's good. That's it's a good problem to have. have. You've got lots of, lots of length, lots of height on this Muskie team. And that's good. I mean, that, if they can defend like this every night, they should have a chance. Look at that, five white in the paint. Hughes for three and it's good. He's been the bright spot for the Lancers thus far. Nine or eight, all eight points for, uh, for the Lancers. Probably should mark him and force anyone else to beat you here at this point if you're Muscatine. Diedrichs in the corner, gets it back to Jan. Diedrichs for three, it's good. Now get some fist pumps from the crowd. 15-8 <laughs> lead now for the Muskies. But that they're spacing off. They're trying to help on Josh so much that Muscatine's just gotta be ready to shoot the ball. Almost another steal. Cole Kilberg in the corner, no good. Ooh. Rebound, Diekman. Well, now Hufford will bring it up for the Muskies. And Muscatine's doing a really good job. Three for Jan. Oh. Rebound, Scholes, he goes oh. up. And then Scholes will get the loose ball foul there. May have been some contact underneath before that, <laughs> but that's okay. So the foul goal against Nicholas Scholes, the senior. But those are the fouls you can live with. They're, at, they're effort Yeah, fouls. they're I mean, everyone working. They're not, they're effort right. fouls, like you right. said. It's not like you're uh, just fouling for no reason. So that was the Joel Krause, our specialty. Just foul <laughs> is, is your beat. There's a steal from Noah Jan. Muscatine is doing a phenomenal job. Zero step move for the finish. 
Well, Muscatine's doing a really good job, and North Scott's going to set up the back cut off of this because we're being so aggressive. But right now, we're being so aggressive, it's paying off. I expect North Scott to go in some back cuts here. Johnson in the corner, no oh. good. Rebound by Hufford. Now, Braden Hufford gets it to Diedrichs. Good pass. In low to Diekman. Finishes again. And now Coach Seamus Buddy, he wants a timeout. He's going to take a full timeout. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a little bit with more musky basketball. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. And we're back at Muscatine High School on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Joel Krausar and Devin Diedrichs on the call. Muscatine jumps out to an 11-point lead here with 4.46 to play in the second quarter. A fantastic first half of basketball from the Muskies right now, Devin. Yeah, and it's starting on the defensive end, right? They're getting a lot of steals and easy runouts, and that's leading to easy transition offense. And then we're taking the shots when they're there. I mean, we're not trying to force anything. We're, it, we're in the rhythm of the offense. Hufford, Diekman, Diedrichs, Waker, Claire, Scholes on the floor for the Muskies. Another three up for Oliver Hughes. Uh -oh. And it is oh. rebounded <laughs> there by Waker, Claire. Almost a friendly fire. I don't think you can have a jump ball on your own team. It's called you? traveling. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Claire in the corner, oh, trying okay. to get it some touches down low. And I she, still think Muscatine should throw the ball to the post every single possession until they stop it. Like course. right here, post up. Claire now. Still shooting. And now Diedrichs in the corner gets it back over to. And that is oh. now Diekman. Oh, good good pass. pass down low. Scholl's able to finish. Well, that was a really good pass. And see, that's what we're talking about. The post, if we can do that, we'll be fine. It was a really good post pass. The Muskie Sports Network on the Discover Muscatine. As Cole Kilberg, or excuse me, Drew to Cole Kilberg. Cole finds Markham in the corner. That's going to be a blocking foul on Diekman, his first. Foul trouble has been something he's had to deal with all season long. Right. So far today, you know, he's done really well on the defensive, defensive end. And it's kept him in an offensive rhythm, too. Right. It's amazing what Hughes happens. Hughes wanted to go left. It's amazing what happens when you play on the defensive end, how it affects the offensive game. Cole Kilberg in the corner, no good. Rebound, Diekman. And right now, Muscatine's just letting anyone besides their top scorer here to shoot. And well, and Landon Island, the leading scorer for the Lancers, yeah. has been out since about the six-minute mark with two fouls. Shoot. Claire to Diedrichs. Go to work. Three Ooh. ball up from Claire, no good. Rebound, Kilberg. But that's a really good inside-out game. Again, Muscatine's doing a really good job of Hughes. Find him. Finds Markham. Baseline jumper, oh. long rebound, Muskies. Muscatine's length here is really affecting North Scott. It's going to be a foul. Down low, that's going to be on Markham. Diekman with the post up, and Markham kind of hooked his arm. And, <laughs> and maybe a little bit of acting. Well, I didn't. I, I was yeah. watching the whole thing. That was. 
He, he caught Josh right right as he was pivoting to post and kind of took him off balance. It wasn't right. It was nothing malicious, and right. the, the fall was significant, but I think it just had to do with <laughs> he, six, he was seven. found. Well, he was found in a, in a precarious position just trying to – he lost his feet. And the fact that he is 6'7", right. that's just gravity. <laughs> oh, good, good pass, pass there to Olsis. So Diekman showing that if you're going to run the double team or triple team in that case <laughs> – He's going to find the open man for the layup. And that's just really good basketball. That's simple basketball they teach you in fifth grade. Find the open guy if there's two men on you, right? And Muscatine's doing a really good job. Unselfish basketball, right? And not just offensive unselfishness, right. great defensive effort, which is the truest right. act of selflessness in sports, is playing good, hard defense. Diekman's got to be careful there. Yeah. He does have one foul. You don't want to pick up a foul there. That wouldn't be one. Kilberg in the corner. That one is long, and that one's going to be rebounded by Diedrichs. And now Hufford will look to push. Again. Gets it inside. Diekman gets it on the floor, elevates, oh. and finishes. Oh. <laughs> that was a pretty move. He just hung up in the air, didn't he? And they really had no answer for oh. him once the ball gets inside. But that was about the first, quote unquote, selfish shot that Josh even took out of that. But they didn't run the double team at him, right. so he just kept prodding and found his chance. Hughes looks to drive. Another three from Kilberg. That oh. one's long. And now Hufford will bring it up for the Muskies. You know, North Scott has gotten open looks. They haven't made right. them, so if they can are able to start right. heating up, that could be a challenge here for the Muskies. Right, but then hopefully you build the lead to the point. Dieters for three. Long, no good. Rebound, Hughes, excuse me, Kilberg, ahead to the. Uh, and now that's going to be Hughes with uh, the transition three. He's got all 11. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's really been the brightest spark so far for this Lancer offense. We're under 20 seconds to go in the half. As Hufford looks to set up the musky offense. This ball has to go to Josh, doesn't it? Seven seconds Seven. here. And that, I'm not sure, got off in time, and it's no good. So the Muskies with their last shot not falling. They take a lead, though, a 14, 25-11 into the halftime. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with our halftime show on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place. And we are back at halftime as the Muscatine Muskies lead North Scott 25-11. We're going to take a quick little break, but we're going to leave it right here so we can watch and enjoy the high school dance team here at Muscatine High School.
There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Car controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah! Another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. Welcome back to Muscatine High School on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Halftime show presented by First National Bank of Muscatine. Devin Diedrichs and Joel Krause are here on the call. And Devin, you know, this first half has really been just tremendous team right. basketball from the Muscatine Muskies with their 25-11 lead. Right. And to me, it starts on the defensive end. What Muscatine did is pack the paint and force other shooters, well, uh, Oliver, Oliver, yeah, Hughes. Yeah. I mean, he's got yeah. all 11 points for the Lancers. So in the locker room, he's probably telling them, hey, let's find that guy <laughs> and make someone else beat us. But besides that, they've done a really good job of packing the paint and forcing other people to step up and beat them. And so far, North Scott's had gotten some good blocks. They just haven't fallen. And on the offensive end, too, Muscatine's doing a really good job being unselfish. There hasn't really been a selfish me, me, me shot yet. And they've done a nice job, as you were mentioning, all throughout that first half. Get the ball down low in the paint. Yeah. And once Deekman's getting it down low, he's got a three or four inch <laughs> yeah. height advantage over his uh, his opponents. And he's able, he's been able to finish. And he's gotten a couple three point plays where he's made the free throws. And a really great first half from the Muscatine Muskie, uh, both on offense and defense. You've got some scores around the area. Yeah. There. So. Uh, uh, at PV, uh, Bettendorf's ahead of PV, 18 to 17 at half. Uh, That's a big rivalry game yeah. right there. Uh, Davenport West is ahead of Davenport North, 37-28. Uh, so. That's what we got from around the area so far. Do we have a girls' score update? Uh, not yet. We'll, we'll try to get that for you. Some future games on Tuesday of next week. We'll have the Muskie girls as they will play host to Pleasant Valley here. We'll be broadcasting that game live. And then on Friday, the boys will be hosting Davenport Central. We'll have that game for you here on Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We watched the, the Muskies. Do you know Rivo as expert get plumbers? His but did you know? victory last night on the wrestling mat. He defeated Trenton Sales uh, from Rip. Burlington. And Devin, I don't know if you had a chance to watch that last night, but Tim. The sales is a state runner up from he, at, at oh, really? Lakesburg, and he's since moved to Burlington. So Tim got his hundredth victory, but it wasn't like it was just up against. <laughs> I mean, this is a, a bona fide state champ right. uh, caliber wrestler that he 
that he was able to beat last night, and it was in an impressive fashion as the Muskies defeated Burlington in the second part of the triangular. They lost to Central DeWitt in a closer uh, duel earlier in the night. Central DeWitt was such a fun wrestling team to watch uh, from top to bottom. And we'll have more Muskie wrestling for you next week on Tuesday the 19th as uh, we will host, or excuse me, two weeks from Tuesday. Uh, as there will be a quadrangular with New London, Mediapolis, Davenport West, and Muscatine. So we're bringing you not just basketball this year on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network, and we will be back with the second half after a break here at halftime. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Car controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile Wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large scale commercial piping systems. Family owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. back at Muscatine High School. We're getting ready for the second half as the Muscatine Muskies lead. North Scott, 25-11. And Devin, you said that you had a score there from the girls game yeah, for the after, Muskies? Yeah, after uh, one quarter, it's 17-7 to North Scott's girls. So. so Coach Susan Orvis and her charge is doing their best to up in at the pit, which is one of my <laughs> favorite arenas in all of Top the state of Iowa. Yeah. And uh, it's tough no matter what sport yeah. you're playing there, whether it's wrestling, volleyball, Basketball, just a, a fantastic high school environment. Uh, and one that will hopefully see why they're so fantastic. Uh, we're hoping to see more fans in the stands yeah. um, as long as uh, the schools are in the conference are able to feel that the schools will be able to do that safely. As we get ready to go underway with the second half, starting out for the Lancers, it'll be Kilberg Hughes. Guffey, who, who really didn't play much yeah. due to foul trouble in that first half. Both Guffey and Island had two fouls. Now Island trying to get some offense going. Uh, Hughes was the only scorer in <laughs> the first half for the Lancers. Kilberg back to Island. Reed Olsis is doing a really good job on him of not letting him go to where he wants to go in his spots. He's really dictating. Diekman, Jan, Olsis, Hufford, and Claire are starting for the Muskies. Muskie has numbers if they push. And now the Muscatine offense will set up. There it goes in down low to Deakman. Oh, Skips it over to Claire for three in the corner. That shot up, no good. Rebound to Island. So that was a really good pass again. That was a really good block for Muscatine. They're doing a really good job of finding the open looks here so far. Markham, scoop pass into Guffey, up and under move. And that's good. The first Lancer on the board besides Hughes is Guffey. That was really nice up and under move. You really don't see a lot of those anymore. That's you. That's back in your era. Old my, school. My era. Yeah. The late 90s. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Reed Olsen's from the high post. Oh, there's people rolling in their chairs right now. <laughs> uh, Hufford now gets it back to Claire. And he goes strong to the hoop. Offensive rebound, Olsis, and he's fouled. Is that on, if that's on Island, that's number three. And it is. That's the third foul on Landon Island. Uh, just a tough night for him. He really hasn't been able to get in the flow of the game at all. And, and a, lot, a lot of credit, Reed though, Olsis. goes to the yeah. musky uh, game plan. Olsis' free throw is good. 
and a really good job. I mean, Reed Olsis has really dictated him on the defensive end. Riots and Rebels Salon bringing you Muskie Athletics as Olsis makes the second free throw along with River Rehab Physical Therapy as Drew Kilberg brings it up the floor for the Lancers. Muscatine here on the defensive end is still working really hard. Good help defense oh. from Claire. Muscatine. Or excuse me, that was Noah Yon. Yeah, Noah Yon. So how about that? Your top scorer on the offensive end is willing to get dirty on the other end. Yeah, and there's going to be a travel mm -hmm. and really one of the few turnovers of the night so far for the Muskies. And another thing, too, is Muscatine live ball turnovers, right? There really right. haven't been a lot of live ball turnovers where more Scott can get out and run. Uh, yeah, even when they turn it over, it's been dead ball stuff, and they have to work through their offense. Here's Island on the wing. And they're going to get Olsis on a foul there. Mm. That's a tough one. Island did a nice job of, yeah. of turning the corner, kind of working his body back into Olsis, drawing the foul. But that's when you know the scouting report, right? He's right-handed, and he's going to get to his right hand. So if you're Muscatine, you sit on that right hand and force him to go the other way. Guffy now. Hughes, Hughes trying to drive and slash. Muscatine's Island. going bigger on him. Wow. Now Island with a stop move. And a big rebound from oh. Noah Yon. So what he has, he's the leading scorer, but right now he's doing a lot on the defensive end and getting good rebounds. Yeah. A couple steals early in the first half, too. He's playing a really good all-around game. And Claire is fouled. He was fouled before the shot attempt, so it'll be musky ball. That's on Drew Kilberg, his first. Inbounds to Claire over to Yon. Yon. Back to Hufford. This ball's got to go inside. There we go. Gets it to Diekman. Strong finish off the curl cut. Man, it's almost like they could hear me or something. That was really. <laughs> but see, that Muscatine, their offense tonight, they can if they get the ball inside, they'll get they'll be fine and get really good looks. Norse God's doing a lot of standing. There's not a lot of cutting without the ball right now. It's five out, and there's really not a lot of movement. Island's trying oh. to generate. Guffy for three. No good. Rebound, Hufford. And you'll live with that shot if you're Muscatine. Right. Yeah, Guffy, Give it to uh, him. Although Guffy is an 80% three-point shooter. Oh. He's four for six. Right now, so now he's about 75%. <laughs> I don't know. Or 66%. If, if I'm Muscatine, I'm still living with that shot. I apologize to any of my former math teachers who <laughs> got to listen to me not reduce fractions correctly on air. Waker Claire now in the corner. Give it to him. Diekman fighting the post. Here's a three ball by Jan. Oh. No good. And that's going to be rebounded by Hughes. That's still a really good look, though, for Muscatine. I mean, that's in the rhythm of the offense. There's, it wasn't forced. And that three is up. No good. Ah. Rebound by Guffey. Guffey finds Markham on the cut, who's unable to finish. Good help defense there by Jan. You know, the game we did Tuesday night, there was a lot of fouls called. This is <laughs> a little bit of the polar opposite here. <laughs> Hufford, oh. that's no good. And that's going to be a foul on Claire, I believe. Oh, that's his third. Shoot. Guffey took a hard shot on that, too. So yeah, I hope he's, he's all right. Yeah. Little Never want to see there. that. Never want to see that. <laughs> they may have banged knees. Oh, that's always the that worst. Hurts. That's the worst feel out of the world. As Drew Kilberg will bring it up the floor for the Lancers. We're under four to play here in the third quarter. Rivo Plumbing and Heating bringing you Muskie basketball. The island gets it poked away by Diekman. Actually, that was Guffey. Kilberg to Kilberg. Good hand. Cole gets it stripped by Reed Olsis. Oh, look up. Uh, and now Hufford resets the musky offense. Dieter's good into pass. Olsis, who's yeah. able to finish. That was a really good pass and a good entry feed inside. Decisive yeah. move there by Olsis, too. He didn't take the ball to the floor. He just pivoted and shot. 
and this is going to sound really biased, but Trevor Diederichs has played some really good minutes for Muscatine. He really has. That. I mean, I, I know. You I'm are his brother. His brother I know. But no. he really has, in Did all you, seriousness. I, no, I, I agree 100%. There's going to oh. be a reach in foul there on Raiden Hufford. And that's one that he's got to just let him dis- go. Yeah, yeah, just let him go. Not do. And he's, he's found himself doing that a few times yeah. this season that we've seen. But that's only his first foul. Uh, that <laughs> runner floater, man. He's good. Oliver Hughes having a day. Diekman gets it to Jan. Now Diedrichs. Uh, good steal there by Cole Kilberg. Runs it out to the head to Guffey. Good defense by the Muskies to get back, and Olsis with the rebound. And he's going to be, they're going to call a jump ball. And it will be Muskie ball. I don't think he saw him on the weak side there. Good job by Guffey to tie up there. So here comes a press here. A half court. Oh, good pass. Oh, Olsis. There's the linebacker. The Get in there. <laughs> Dietrichs thinking about the shot. Good <laughs> reset. <laughs> hey, you got to love linebackers, man. It's a trap. I'm oh. sure a quarterback. Olsis. Oh. Able to finish. Not able to finish. Gets it back, though, on his rebound. Jan, shot fake. Over to Hufford. Get good ball there. movement to Diedrichs. Three is no good, but a good look for the Muskies. But if they're going to run that half-court trap, that you've got to run back cuts off of it and cut to the basket, and good things will happen. Kilberg gets it over to Island. He's going to get fouled. Ooh. Mm. That's going to be on Reed Olsis, his second foul. That's a tough one there. I don't. I think he might have traveled first, but that's all right. Hughes catches the ball. Diedrichs contesting. Drew Kilberg drives, kicks it out. Island tries to drive and shoot. He kicks it back out to Kilberg, and that three is good. Those were the looks that North yeah. Scott had in the first half and were unable to make. They've made a couple of them here in the second. Hufford in trouble. Oh. Good pass. Oh. Okay. Diedrichs does a nice job there of seeing what's coming and, and not forcing the issue. And I know Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. 31-18 lead. So 42 is a trap. You hear Coach Buddy come out with it. And there's a steal by Guffey. And he's going to be fouled by Jan. Muscatine's gotten a little more careless here in the third quarter with the ball. They've got to do a better job of just being strong with it. We're going to have a 30-second timeout time out. here by Coach for the Muskies, Coach Windham. Yeah, so you, you mentioned this, Devin. What we've seen, I think, more is a little extended defense yep. from North Scott. They're, they're putting more pressure. They're right. not giving Muscatine the easy pass oh. and really kind of beating the Muskies with what they were doing earlier in the in the game, and, and that's really getting extended defense and steals out in the front court. Well, right, and if you're a Muscatine, though, you don't need to panic, right? You right. still have a lead. You're still up 13. It's not like the world is falling. You just got to slow down and run and be strong with the ball because they know you're going to attack. So you got to make smart decisions with the ball. 13-point oh. lead for the Muskies. Miles Melendez in for Muscatine. So Miles Melendez checks in for the Muskies. 41.3 seconds to go here. That was Jan's third foul. Oh, no. So Melendez comes in. Help. Island shot up, no good, and that's going to be rebound. Olsis, good defense. Well, he's running into a bunch of. Good crossover by Hufford. Slow down. Over to Melendez. Slow down. To slow Deacon. down. We're under 20 <laughs> seconds to go here in the third quarter. Muscatine here has just got to slow down. No rush. No rush. But North Scott not giving them yeah. any room. He's got a, Guffey goes for the steal. Okay, now yeah. you go. Five seconds. Get in there. Shot fake. Up, no good. Shoot. As Diedrichs unable to make the three or the, the shot at the end of the buzzer. We're going to take a quick break. 
We'll be back with more musky basketball. There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. And welcome back to Muscatine High School. We're getting ready for the beginning of the fourth quarter as the Muskies have a 13-point lead over the visiting North Scott Lancers. North Scott 5-1 coming into this ball game. Muskies 1-4. It's really been a fantastic three quarters of basketball for the Muskies as the Lancers look to mount this fourth quarter comeback. And here comes Muscatine. It's going to have to, North Scott's going to amp up the pressure here. Hughes crosses over. That shot is up, and that's good. Here Cole, comes the pressure. Cole Kilberg with a pull-up jumper. And now Hufford gets it over the timeline. If you're a Muscatine, you've just got to slow down. You're going way too fast. Olsa skip pass to Claire. Claire for three. No good. Rebound, Diekman. Diekman almost loses it. Gets it to Jan. That's for three. That's no good. Rebound. Cole Kilberg. Really good looks for Muscatine, though. Gets it back to his brother. That shot up, no good. And rebounded by Hufford. And now Gully. If you're or Muscatine, Guffey, excuse me, looking to trap. If you're Muscatine, you are in no hurry here. I know this is your soapbox and no shot clock, but <laughs> this is where you milk the no shot clock. But at the same time, if right. you've got a, an open look, right. you got to take. Because uh, you don't want to just paralysis by paralysis right and there's going to be another foul a little hook there by drew kilberg and this is where josh has to stay calm right you're still up 11 there's nothing here there's no reason to get a chief technical or sure. something give him momentum you know they just have to stay calm Hufford gets it into Olsis. Island extending all the way out oh. to half court. They're moving their whole yeah. defense. The pressure, they got it. And there's a foul. And you know, you mentioned that for Josh Drew Kilberg there close a couple times there. You can't just bat the ball out of the player's hands uh, too. I know, I know. It goes both ways, but if you're Muscatine, you gotta right. maintain your composure. You don't need a cheap something to happen and all of a sudden it's momentum shifting play. Big foul there, that's three fouls on Drew Kilberg. Four team fouls on the Lancers. Strong take by Diekman, no good. Olsis oh. with the rebound. <laughs> and now Guffey is gonna get the board and they're gonna call a foul on Josh Diekman there. I think that's the good call. It he is. He caught him with the arm. It is, but I think there was contact underneath before too, so. And I think that's what Coach Wyndham is discussing yeah. <laughs> right now. They actually called the foul on Olsis, so that's his third. Uh, and that's uh, a big one. Yep. It's Three fouls on him. He's done a really good job on 24 for North Scott. Beekman just with one foul. Island, oh. no points tonight for the leading scorer so far. Three ball up and it's good. And there's the three for Landon Island. As now Braden Hufford gets to the cross court to Waker Claire and over the timeline. Slow down, slow down. There's no reason here if you're Muscatine. You know, that's what North Scott wants, to speed up the pace, so just slow down. Now Diekman on the post. Able to finish strong. 
He's had a heck of a game tonight. Talk about a coming out party here. This is 16 the, points for the senior. This is the game that we've been waiting for Josh to have for a long time, honestly. Double team on, on Island and Hughes. And I like the switch that Coach Wyndham did, putting height. Oh, a little geez. teardrop falling there for Hughes. He's had a night too. Yeah, 15 for the senior. See, this is an advantage, though, having Josh can just take the ball up the floor. Yeah, having a 6'7 guy who can handle it. Good ball movement from the Muskies and one. That's going to be on Oliver Hughes. And that's really good. They beat the press. There wasn't a forced quick entry. It was a take your time pass, make sure the ball could get there. That's really well done by Muscatine. First foul there on Hughes. And that will send Claire to the free throw line. Waker makes it. Extends that lead back to 11. If I'm North Scott, I've got to get 24 going. I know that Reed's done a phenomenal job here, but you got to get him going. Kilberg takes it. Shot up, and it's fouled. And that one, if you're Braden, you either go straight up or... He kind of was caught in the middle and hit with the body and then over the top. Just go straight up and because the, the officials really haven't been calling a lot underneath. So if you go straight up, sure. Know. First foul on Braden Hufford. Free throw by Drew Kilberg is good. He's a 62.5% free throw shooter on the season. Look at you, statistics over here. Here comes full court pressure. Muscatine's got to be ready here. And Deacon will call a timeout. So it's a full court man-to-man -man press here. So Muscatine just needs to take a deep breath. You know, you get five seconds to get the ball in, right? Uh, you don't need to panic. Just and run cutters off of it, right? Uh, I think Muscatine got caught. All of them sure. were standing and not, they weren't really they, expecting it. They, they weren't anticipating the right. press there. Because it really was the first time they've seen the full, full, full court. Yeah. And so a nine-point game, 4.38 to go here in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned for our post game as we'll have our defensive player of the game presented by Eastern Iowa Community College, our Bear of Muscatine offensive player of the game, then our Rizzo Plumbing and Heating play of the game. Huge thank you to our sponsors, CBI Bank & Trust, High V of Muscatine, Riots and Rebel Salon, Toyota of Muscatine, Bickford Senior Living, River Rehab Physical Therapy, and Luther Living, oh. Lutheran Living Senior Campus. Ball's inbounded to Claire. They get the trap, and they're going to call a foul. Ooh, much, to the chagrin, out there. much to the chagrin of Coach Buddy. Ah, uh, that was a. I think we may have got bailed out there. That's pretty <laughs> good defense by North Scott, I have to be honest. And That's now. And now North Scott, uh, with well, their next foul, putting the Muskies in the one and one bonus. Oh. Huffer trying to dribble through, and he's fouled. Is he all right? He f did fall hard. Oh. Huffer is still down. I'm not sure what hit. He kind of got sandwiched in. <laughs> but Muscatine in the press, you don't want to dribble in the middle of the press like that. There's four guys coming to collapse, so you've got to find your outlets off of that for the next time. And that's the first foul on Cole Kilberg. And Braden Hufford will shoot the one and one. This is where Muscatine's gonna have to convert. And Hughes with the rebound. Here's a clear out. Island huh. going in. Good defense by the Muskies. Oh. Good, strong rebound by Noe Yan. Wow, and that was caused by... Oh, she, oh. oh gosh. Hufford gets it ahead to Claire, oh. who's able to finish. Well, that was that was a no, 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 yes. Yeah. All right. No, 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 oh, slow down. Okay, yes. Josh Neekman is doing a really good job. Oh. Guffey with a nice up and under move, unable to finish though, and Hufford with a strong rebound. This is where if you're Muscatine, you don't, you just slow down. Oh, he finds Claire down low. Great look, great finish. Well, that was a really good pass there for Braid Hufford. And He's Musk had a couple huge yeah. assists here in the last two minutes. 
And that's what you want your point guard to do, though, right? Find the open guy. Oh. Mm. Unable to box out Guffey, uh. and he's able to finish. And that allows Norscott to set up their press. Yeah, but this is where Muscatine, you're. Uh, mus uh. Turnover for the Muskies. And that's going to be a steal and a putback there from Cole Kilberg. Muscatine's going way too fast. They need to just slow down and relax here. Nine point lead. Crab. Hufford Good. gets it over the top to Jan. Good. What? And See, now they want to put bring it up across. Yeah. There we go. Get it across <laughs> the timeline. I was like, so now you're in no hurry, right? I mean, there's no count going on. Good pass. Gets it inside. Gray and Hufford has played a phenomenal fourth quarter for Muscatine. Now Kilberg brings it up for the Lancers. Over to Island. Cole Kilberg, Drew Kilberg, excuse me, kicks it to Cole Kilberg. That three's up and that's no good. Rebound, Hufford. No hurry here if you're Muscatine. Hufford's uh, got both Kilberg oh. twins and he's able to split them. Diekman with strong take and a finish. You know, that's, that's really good basketball right there, Joel. I mean, that's... 13-point lead now for the Muskies. And they're going to call a foul on Waker Claire, and that's his fourth. If you're a Muskie team, that's one you don't need because they can score without time going right. off the clock. I mean, in that one, let them take the 18-foot jumper instead of just. And that'll put Oliver Hughes to the line, a 50% free throw shooter on the season. Well, judging from his shot stroke, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that. I, <laughs> limited attempt, sir. Four for eight. Oh. 2-12 to go here in the fourth quarter. Both teams in the one and one bonus. The Muskies have led almost wire to wire this game as Hughes makes the first. This is where if you're Muscatine, you have to box out and you have to not allow any second chance opportunities right here. Hughes with his 16th point of the night. And he misses the second rebound by Island. Maybe I should just stop talking. <laughs> right, good grief. It's like everything we said tonight. Blocked by Olsis. 12 point lead oh. for the Muskies. And their defense a has continued to be uh, one of the real s discussions of this ball game. Yeah. Gets it into Island. Island spins. Ols is able to stop him. Kick out for three, no good. Oh. Rebound by Markham. This is where, oh, Muscatine, you got to finish the game, right? You can't, yeah. it's not. Oliver Hughes with oh. the step back three off the glass. Oh. Timeout, buddy, at the, for the North Scott Lancers. Good grief. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. That's a big shot. Yeah. Cuts it to nine. But if you're Muscatine here, again, you're in no hurry, right? You want to get the ball in your best foul shooter's hands and dictate the game that way because Muscatine can salt this game away at the free throw line. Best foul shooter on the floor is Noah Yan, the 80% yeah. free throw shooter, who is the leading scorer, who is, only has two points tonight. But that mm -hmm. has not told the story of yeah. how he has played. No. He's done outstanding on the defensive end. I've got him for six rebounds as well in three steals. So he's what he's not doing on yeah. the scorer sheet, he is doing uh, in the other aspects of the game. And you mentioned Braden Hufford yeah. has had an outstanding fourth quarter. He's had four big assists. Yeah. He had created easy buckets for the Muskies down the stretch. So minute 42, the Muskies trying to do their best to close this thing out. This is something that I know Coach Windham yeah. just wants to see his guys show that they can do. Diekman, oh. and is deflected, so it will be musky ball. But that's a tough part of the floor to have to inbounds on the side there. Yeah, and Muscatine, that was almost a reactionary pass. You can take your time, turn around a pivot, and throw it. Oh. Jan gets it into Hufford. Hufford's fouled by Hughes. That'll be the second foul on Hughes with 19 points on the night <laughs> for the Lancers. And that will send Braden Hufford to the line. This is where Muscatine has to convert. Hufford, a 50% free throw shooter. Misses the front end, rebound by Guffey. And now Kilberg will push for the Lancers. 
This is where nothing easy, but also don't foul. Ball's deflected. Make them earn every single basket here. You have a minute 25 and you're up nine. Make them earn every single basket. No free fouls and with the scoring with the time stopped. It's an ISO. Island. Uh oh. Tries to get to the rim, unable to do is fouled before he could get there. That's gonna be a foul on Reed Olsis, his fourth. So four fouls on Claire and Olsis with a minute 22 to play. Diekman has one foul, Jan has three, and Hufford has one. The next foul would put North Scott into the double bonus, two free throws. Got a box out here, no second chance opportunities. Island, a 65% free throw shooter on the season. Makes the first. So you know the press is coming, right? Yep. So if you're Muscatine, you've got to set it up right now in your mind, hey, this is what we're doing against this pressure. The guy gets a rebound there. Uh, Loose ball. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be musky ball off of the jump. And that was a really good job of officiating. Um, they, because Seamus Buddy was calling for a timeout, but no one had possession. That's a right. really good piece of officiating. Noah Yon did a nice job of, of getting that ball for the Muskies. He was the only white jersey in there. Oh, it's going to be musky ball. Muscatine does have three timeouts left, so right. we don't need to force anything. If that makes sense, you don't need to force it. You can, if you need a timeout. The double team and non. So minute 18 to go here. Oh god. Deep pass. Oh no. No. And that is. Oh. That's going to be North Scott, oh. unable to get the three. And they're going to call a foul. I'm just not sure who they're calling it on. Who's that on? It's on North Scott. It has to be. Oh yeah. And that is going to go on. There was a lot of contact going on there. That <laughs> felt like a football game. Yeah, I felt like I was on Friday nights here. That foul is going to be on number 21. That's going to be on Guffey. It's his third. And that will send Noah Yan to the free throw line. And if you're Muscatine, that's what you want, right? Your best free throw shooter had a chance to ice it. All and right. he makes the first. So if you're Muscatine here, you know a quick shot is coming. Don't, don't foul a three-point shooter. You just stay straight up. And Jan with the second free throw, pushing the lead to 10 for the Muskies. Just keep your arms straight up. Arms straight up. Don't, don't Gilbert foul. Don't foul. Kicks it out to Guffey. Fine. Guffey for three. Oh. He holds Jeez. Sam Perkins set shot. <laughs> Guffey knocks it down. 39-46 is the Muskie lead. And now that's a timeout on for North Scott here as they look to set up their defense. It's a full timeout. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in 30 seconds with the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. back at Muscatine High School. 55.5 seconds to go here in this ball game. The Muskies with a nine point lead. Excuse me, no, that's a seven, seven point lead. That boy math, man. <laughs> As the they inbound it to Hufford. And we have a quick score update at the half. North Scott girls lead Muscatine 27 to 14. So. As Braden Hufford will go to the free throw line. This is where you got to knock him down here.
first free throw is good for Brady right. Hufford. Brought to you by High V of Muscatine and Bickford Senior Living. Hufford really putting his hat in the ring for uh, the Bear of Muscatine offensive player of the game as he misses yeah. the second one there. There's a couple guys that are pretty deserving here. Landon Island now looks to drive. He's able to get the finish. It's 41 uh, 47, now a six point ball game. And North Scott fouls. That's going to be the fifth foul on number two, Drew Kilberg. So he will foul out of this ball game, scoring two points, but did a nice job of running yeah. the offense for the Lancers. And now the Muskies are in the double bonus. And it's two shots every time down. These are really big free throws here. First free throw good from the point guard. <sighs> Second free throw from Hufford is good. 49 41, 39 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. No easy buckets. Cole Kilberg oh. drives, and they're going to call a foul on Noah Yan. That's his fourth. That's a tough one. I don't want the hand check, but see, that's if you're Muscatine, you'd rather have the clock just keep going you know, right. instead of letting them score without the clock moving. Kilberg's free throw is good. CBI Bank and Trust, proud supporters of Muskie Athletics, along with River Rehab Physical Therapy. Kilberg makes them both. It's a five or six point ball game. Baker Claire gets it to Noah Yon. No hurry here, but you got to get it across. Can't get a 10 second call here if you're the Muskies. So the Muskies are not able to get the timeout, and they call a 10 second call. Oh. Muscatine is so, not making this easy on themselves <laughs> to salt this North one. North Scott did a nice job of running their trap, not fouling until they had to, and then yeah. Muscatine never forced them to have to. The only good thing is it did take 10 seconds off the clock. Island now over to Hughes. That's I double him. Island drives baseline. Good defense. Good defense from Josh Diekman. And Waker Claire will get fouled now by Island, his fourth. Eight seconds to go. And that's been the story all night. Josh Diekman has done a very good job on post defense. And the help. He hasn't, yeah, he hasn't swung down. He stayed straight up the whole time. It's amazing when you're 6'7 and just goes straight up. You don't need to block every shot. So Waker Claire will go to the free throw line. First one's good. Makes it a seven point ball game. That's a huge free throw. Makes yeah. it a three possession ball game with just eight seconds to go. Now, this is where you don't foul if you're Muscatine at all. And that is a huge yeah. free throw from the senior. Good. Island for three. It's oh. good. Don't even have to inbound it. But the time will run out, and the Muskies defeat the 14th ranked North Scott Lancers. Oh, it was an outstanding wire to wire performance from the purple and gold. We'll be back to break this one down for you. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more from our post-game show on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place like home, and Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home, and there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. 
You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Welcome back. We're at Muscatine High School on our post-game show on Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Joel Krausar and my partner, David Edricks, Muscatine defeating North Scott, giving them their second loss of the season. The, the now two and four Muskies defeating the number 14th ranked North Scott Lancers. And it was a huge game, really a wire to wire yeah. victory. I think Muscatine only trailed once during out this, throughout this whole game. And, you know, we've got a couple players we want to highlight here. Our Bear of Muscatine Offensive Player of the Game. Who do you have for that tonight? Dan? Well, I mean, it has to be Josh Sheikman. He stepped up in a big way, 18 points. And, you know, he did a really good job of actually being the post player that we know he can be. He you commanded know? the paint the yeah. entire game. The all game long, it was his paint, and he was going to make sure. And he made really good passes out of the post, too. A lot of what the good – that happened offensively, it came through number 32. His yeah. defense was outstanding tonight as well, yeah. but he was not quite there for our defensive player of the game presented by Eastern Iowa Community College, and who has that? Yeah, it has to be Reed Olsis. I mean, he, I mean, I know he ended up with nine points, but that came at the end. I mean, he, he really shut down North Scott's leading scorer for yeah. the entire game. La uh, Landon Island uh, averaging just over 14 points per game. Held to nine, and those all nine kind of came in, you know, scramble situations yeah. up there at the end. There was not a lot of momentum for him, and that had a huge factor on this ball game. And then our our Rivo plumbing and heating play of the game. Well, I mean, it would be plays of the game. I mean, Brayden Hufford made three phenomenal passes down to Waker and Reed um, in the post, and it really kept North Scott at an arm's length. It was when North Scott was really making a run and being very aggressive. And Brayden Hufford did a really good job of slowing down and making the play. And I mean, that really turned the game and kept them at an arm's length. And it was calculated aggression. They were right. kind of, they were right. plays, they were long passes, but he saw the opening and he executed right. precisely. And his gave his players an opportunity to finish in the paint uh, in those press situations. Right. And it was really was one of those moments where it kept that momentum for fully swinging into North Scott's favor. Right. And that ultimately is what gave the Muskies this nine-point victory tonight. So that's going to do it for us this week on Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We'll be back on Tuesday as Devin and I will have the Muskies against Pleasant Valley. You'll be here, right? You don't have to go yep. back to college. I don't yet. go back till the 24th. Nice. So we've got yep. a couple more weeks yep. of Devin as the Muskie girls will host Pleasant Valley on Tuesday. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.